YouTube, Arbor Juju Vadim here, KG5, IWQ. Um, I'm going to start out this video by just saying anybody that has the correct licensing and that can uh, receive or transmit on an HF band, well, receive on an HF band uh, AM channel 4625, I believe, uh, kilohertz. This is something uh, that may kind of spook you. Um, make you curious, spark some inspiration, I don't know. It scares the heck out of me. Uh, I don't know why, it's just the sound of it. I'm not too thrilled with. But, um, uh, something really creepy happened tonight, um, that in relating to this, this, uh, this sound. This is called UVB-76, and this is a Russian broadcasting unit, um, that was started up service 19, well, I think it was found in 1986, or reported in 1986. Uh, we don't know when it started. Um, this is a station that just buzzes. It just has a, a buzz tone that lasts a few seconds. It pauses for about two seconds, and then it buzzes again. And it does this 24 hours a day, uh, and the entire year. I don't remember if there was ever a Christmas where it was offline for one <coughs> for an hour or two for servicing. But that's what it is. Um, and this is what it sounds like. Tell me this isn't creepy. I'm playing it on my vacuum tube amp so you can hear it. Okay, so you get the idea. UVB, UVB, uh, 76. Just a random broadcast station that broadcasts that 24-7. Now, here's the interesting part. I'll pull it up. There is a voice that comes on um, certain times of the month, and evidently people are saying, they're saying a call sign, they're saying, um, oh man, I, I have no idea, but I'm going to pull that up, and I'll let you guys listen to that as well. Okay, so this is the voice that will come on uh, at random times of day, uh, specific days of the month. Uh, tell me this isn't creepy. I think it goes back to the buzzing. Oh no. So that's basically what it does. Um, and this is this is just kind of what it what it says. I don't take credit for making that video. I'm just using somebody's YouTube video. Um, uh, thanks for whoever this is. But anyways, so you can see this last transmission was December 10, 2014. Uh, 1627, uh, whatever time that is. Sorry. So, here's where it gets extremely spooky for me. Um, I'm not interested, I'm not as interested in the voices as I am the actual buzzing sound. I've always been interested in it, and I've always figured, oh, this is, you know, this is, it's, it's creepy, but it's cool. 
And so now here's where it gets really spooky. Over here we got a World War II cable testing unit. Now, what I'm about to tell you is completely true about this. This box makes the exact same sound as this buzzer. Okay. Um, I don't understand how it does it. I don't understand what they're using. I'm just kind of... Oh, you can see myself high. Um, but this, this, it makes the exact same sound, and I'm going to show you what that sound is. Uh, it, it too is kind of creepy. But, see, so you can, I'll let you, uh, for advice, you can rewind this video, play it back, and then just kind of compare the sounds, or go on YouTube and open up another video of the buzzer. Um, just keep in mind, it's not going to be the exact same frequency. I'm running 6 volts, I think. Or shoot, right now 4.6 volts. That's as close as I could get the speed um, to it. I gotta put it on a rectifier later and use a variac to adjust the speed. But uh, like I said, aside from speed, it sounds very similar. Um, the only thing that sounds different is the actual sound on here because this being uh, it's a it's a radio transmission. But if you imagine yourself being there and hearing it, I'm assuming it would hear it would sound something like this. So I'm gonna go set that up. Okay, here we go. <laughs> So, this is really making me wonder um, <laughs> if they used one of these to make that buzzing sound. There's nothing special about it, it's just a uh, cable tester. This one's World War II, like I said. Uh, it's got a big relay in it, or kind of a magnetic field in it. It's got a DC motor for a timer. Um, but, so, I'm wondering if they used that station... Um, I'm, this is just a guess for me, but is it possible that they use that station for testing, um, radio systems, testing, uh, receive tones, transmit, well, if you're, someone's putting up a new transmitter or transceiver and they need to see if they're receiving correctly, um, they may be able to tone in, tune into something like this. And they would provide them with that buzzing sound, and they would do it. And I know how we have in America, we have our, the, if you have a license here for a radio, you gotta have a call sign in America every 10 minutes. Um, for the last 30 some years, the, the, uh, that, that buzzer station has had the same call sign, I think. Um, so... Is it possible that Russia has similar uh, laws in that field for the radio, where they have to um, announce their call sign uh, every other month or something like that? I don't know, but I just thought that was interesting, and that could very well be a possibility um, sound-wise. But uh, hey guys, uh, thanks again for watching. Um, if you are interested in this, or if you have a, a ham license, tune into that channel sometime. It's on the AM band, side band. Um, I think it's upper, I don't remember if it was upper or lower side band. Uh, it's suppressed, and it's 4625, I believe. Uh, I'll put that in the description, to just read the description to verify that. But um, yeah, definitely check it out. I think it's still active today. This is September... 17th, 2015? I don't know. Let me see. It is September 18th, 2015, because it's past midnight. I'm staying up late. But hey, guys, thanks for watching. KG5IWQClaire. 73.